Tracking storms moving through metro Atlanta, they are rumbling across the landscape. Some areas are getting hit with some severe weather right now. Yeah, our 11 Alive storm trackers have been monitoring the system all afternoon long. We want to get right to our chief meteorologist, Chris Holcomb. And Chris, we've already had some severe thunderstorm warnings. Exactly right. And there is one in effect right now on the north side of town right now, just north of I-20, including central Fulton County, uh, parts of Cobb County, and also parts of northwestern DeKalb County. It's from this cell right Right here, many of you inside the perimeter right now and around the perimeter are hearing this and seeing this happening right now. I'm going to take you in a little bit closer so you can see this area that we're watching. You can see in that yellow polygon, this is the strongest storm that we have right now. It goes up to around Roswell here in North Fulton County in the eastern parts of Cobb County uh, with some very intense lightning. We also had a report from the National Weather Service earlier of golf ball size hail. That hail size is beginning to shrink just a little bit. Let me put this into live mode right now. I want to do a couple of things. I want to show you the lightning count with this because the lightning is very intense. You're hearing almost seeing constant lightning and hearing a lot of thunder there. 89 lightning strikes just in the past 15 minutes. Now I also want to show you the hail with this because earlier, all right, now on the south end here, this is where the largest part of the hail is. This has actually grown a little bit here on the south side. Uh, that purple that you see right there, that is where we have some hail uh, estimates there by Doppler radar of about almost two inches in diameter. So it was stronger up here a second ago that weekend, and now this largest hail is down here just, uh, uh, just north of I-20. I really wouldn't be surprised if the National Weather Service is going to have to issue another warning right here uh, to include parts of DeKalb County near Clarkston, also down toward Belvedere Park and Panthersville on that side of the perimeter. So we're going to keep an eye on that for you uh, coming up. But that is where we have the warning that is in effect right now on the north side. I want to get you right into that right now. That's where our storm tracker thunder truck is right now. Meteorologist Samantha Moore in the truck. Sam, you guys have been going through the hardest part of this rain. Yeah, we've had driving rain, a lot of lightning as well, and there's uh, a lot of rainfall accumulation on the roadways that is slowing people down. We're on 400, uh, just about halfway between the 285 entrance ramp and Lennox Road, so about halfway down. Cars are crawling pretty slowly in front of us and, of course, behind us as the rain is coming down pretty hard and heavy. Have not seen any hail with this yet, but we're going to continue southward, maybe go over North Druid Hills and try to stay behind that cell where it seems like the most reflectivity uh, is the brightest right now, Chris, and that's probably where that larger hail is, just like you said. All right, Sam, y'all be careful out there. I know the traffic is not good whenever we have rainy and stormy conditions here. Let me take you over on the east side near Conyers, another cell there, not classified as severe, but a lot of heavy rain, thunder and lightning with that and strong winds. Putnam County, you also have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect. This is just south of the Lake Oconee area. Plenty of lightning and large hail possible with that storm too. On the north side, we've been tracking some of these storms up around Rome, moving up 75 there in parts of Bartow County. This is just to the west of Alatoona Lake. And then additional showers scattered around parts of North Georgia. Here's that one that I just showed you in Rockdale County with all the thunder and lightning with it. And again, that severe thunderstorm warning on the top end of the perimeter uh, with that hail, damaging winds possible with that very heavy rain and frequent lightning too. We're going to keep the crawl rolling at the bottom of your screen. This warning is going to expire at 515. If additional warnings are issued, that will come up on the screen and we'll let you know more about that storm if more warnings are issued. And you can track the weather 24-7 by downloading the 11 Alive app, signing up to receive weather alerts directly on your phone.